The Call of Earth is a science fiction novel by American writer Orson Scott Card. It the second book of the Homecoming Saga, a fictionalization of the first few hundred years recorded in the Book of Mormon. Plot summary The book focuses on several key events that happen after Nefari, Elamak, Isab, Mebaku, Zadorab and the father Volamak leave for the desert. Elamak has a dream from the Oversoul, foretelling Volamak's sons going back to the city of Basilica to get wives. The sons proceed to Nefari's and Isab's mother, Rasa, who is attempting to keep order within the city. However Hushi, a raveler under Rasa's care, makes the disastrous mistake of severing the ties between Rashgalavak and his men, leading to widespread riots across the city. At the same time, General Moose, leader of the Wetheads nation Garani, is attempting to conquer cities around Basilica. He sees a strategic chance, and taking only 1,000 soldiers, marches across the desert to conquer the city. He arrives in time to help the local city guard quell the uprising, and slowly begins taking control of its affairs. The remainder of the book deals with Nefari and his brothers Elamak and Mebaku, who had come attempts at finding wives. In the end, they are all forced into a house arrest along with Rasa, where Elamak takes Eiadh as his wife, Mebaku takes Dol, Nefari takes Lue, the Waterseer, with Rasa and Hushi deciding to come as wives for Volamak and Isab, respectively. Shedame, a Basilican geneticist, is dragged along with enough plants and animals to populate the future Earth with new species, also as a wife to Zadorab. The ending comes when Moose decides to marry Hushi to politically tie himself with the city. Hushi's original mother arrives to stop the ceremony, since Hushi is actually the daughter of Moose. Nefari's party is escorted out of the city with the women and supplies for the camp. Moose ends up conquering the wetheads he had been working for, while his basilican second in command defends the city against the rival nation, Potokgaven. In the end, he is killed during an invasion and Basilica falls, scattering the citizens to various other nations and cities on harmony. Earlier in the book, the Oversoul had revealed the purpose of this dispersal was to force people with a strong connection to it to breed with people who had a weak connection, and so delay the eventual time when the Oversoul loses control of the people of harmony. Topic Characters The characters listed here are those whose primary role is in the Call of Earth. For other characters, see Homecoming Saga. General Vosmerzalnoy Vazmuzhno, better known as Muse, a leader of the Army of the Imperator, a godlike figure. He engineers a takeover of Basilica, freeing it from the lordship of the remains of Gabalufix's men but surreptitiously advancing his own control. Although this starts Basilica on the path to loss of its traditional female-dominated structure, it ends up bringing stability in the short term. Moose is sensitive to the Oversoul's communication and inducement of stupidity though he believes such sensations to come from God. Since he stubbornly sets himself against God's plans, the Oversoul learns the tactic of reverse psychology and pushes Moose to forget those things that it actually wants him to act on. Thirsty, a holy woman of the desert, and the mother of Hushi and Lue. 
She too hears the Oversal's commands clearly, and follows them faithfully even as she rages against their unfairness. After leaving her daughters with Rasa, she is left alone by the Oversal for many years, during which she marries and raises a family. The Oversoul then orders her back to Basilica to reveal the identity of Hushi's and Lue's father, and deliver the announcement that seals the Oversoul's plan for the city. General Plodorodnoy Plod, Musa's best friend and closest confidant. Actually a spy sent to watch him and report his actions to the Imperator, Moose has him killed and utilizes his death to advance his own ambitions. Smelost, a Basilican guard. Sent to Musa's camp to recruit the help of the Garani, he ends up faithfully believing in Musa's strategy, which involves his own death. Smelost takes the blame for the murder of Plod, shouting, for Gabalufix, death to the Imperator. This sets up the Garani to oppose Gabalufix. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> External links. About the novel, The Call of Earth, from Cards website. <inaudible>